Chris, so the players are back and this is the, the first day of testing. So tell us what they've been doing today. Uh, so far we've done, uh, we've weighed them, took their body fats, um, they've done an agility test, um, some speed testing and now they're doing the yo-yo testing. Um, obviously we haven't been uh, blessed with the best uh, pre-season weather but uh, the lads have got their head down and got through it. Tell us how important this is to assess the players and then get, re get them ready for the start of the season. Yeah, obviously um, we had readings at the uh, back end of last season in terms of the weights and fats. Um, obviously there'll be a little bit of giveaway because that was off the back of a 50 game season. Um, so they put their bodies through a lot. Um, we encourage them to go away and rest over the summer and um, build into, they've had a programme to build up in the last two or three weeks. Um, and then we'll see where we're at today. Um, we'll do a little bit tomorrow and then next week we'll, uh, we'll kick on. Tell us what you learned from the yo-yo test that's taking place behind you now. Just in terms of base endurance level, um, this is the the yo-yo uh, intermittent recovery test 2. So they get a 10 second break after each run, see how quickly they can rec recover and go again and then we look at the total meters they cover um, before they uh, can't run no more. And fitness obviously vital for a, a full championship season which is unrelenting and, and a real pressure for the players. Yeah, I mean, um, due to the international breaks, the, the games do come thick and fast when we are playing the fixtures. Um, we do have like overcrowded months um, and we know um, that we need to be up there as one of the fittest teams if we're going to compete at this level and I think um, the players understand that, they look after themselves in a professional manner and, um, and it is a... It is a a big thing getting them fit but I'd say probably the most important thing is keeping them fit. Uh, and happy with the, where the players have come back at and the levels that they're at? Yeah looking at looking at the, wear, the weights and body fats we're not far away at all. Obviously we've got um, five and a half weeks before we actually start competitive football so um, probably the key point is where they are at that point then ready to go against Cardiff on the uh, 5th of August. Uh, John, good to be back uh, and getting set for the new season. Yeah, great to be back. A bit of a shame about the weather. It was a nice heat wave uh, the other week, but it's been great. Yeah, just coming back and seeing all the lads, some of the new faces, and getting going again just to sort of dust the cobwebs off and get the boots on and get back out here on the first days is always good. Uh, and testing today, so tell us about that from, from your point of view. Yeah, just uh, I think a good one to get a sort of mark of where we are and, and, and where we need to progress for over the next six weeks. So uh, I think started off with an agility test and went into a sprint test and then just finishing off with what's behind us, which is the yo-yo test. And we'll get the, the markers from, from these three tests and, and use them through pre-season, along with the heart rates and the GPS, and we can go from there. So it's a great uh, chance to sort of, you know, set the benchmark and, and then work on the fitness from that point onwards. And the yo-yo test is going on behind us. How tough is that, John? It doesn't, it doesn't look easy. It's tough. It's, it's basically a test of exhaustion, so it's, it's as tough as it gets. You've just got to keep going until you can't go any longer. So in terms of, in terms of maximal tests, it's, it's one of the toughest ones, especially with a stop as well. You have to get yourself going, not a continual test. Um, as you can see, to get a little rest in between, which, which might make it sound easier, but it's definitely not. So yeah, it's one of the toughest tests that we do. Uh, Chris says delighted with the way everybody's come back, ready to go and, uh, and fit. Is that, that the way you see it as well? Yeah, I think these days you have to be pretty fit coming back into pre-season. It's not a case of using pre-season to get fit. You have to, you know, come with some semblance of fitness at the start of, um, you know, the start of pre-season. So I think all the lads are in shape. Uh, we did all the, the body fats and, and the weight tests as well. So everyone looks good, and I think everyone's be, you know, everyone will be ready to, to fire.